Now that is a lot of wires. And it's not even all of them. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video in the Chevy Nova build vlog. I know I haven't been doing a whole lot lately and if you watch the update video, you know that's because my budget was kind of hit this month pretty hard and last month. We do have one uh, part, well, it's a lot of parts technically, but a kit that we've ordered for the Nova. I don't want to talk too much about that until we get it so that you'll see that in that video. But we ordered it at the end of June and it hasn't shipped yet because of all the coronavirus and everything like that. The manufacturer builds them to order, so they're a little behind on those, but they're expected to ship our order out on July 29th. So hopefully it'll ship out next Wednesday, this Wednesday, whenever you're watching the video, July 29th, and hopefully be here in time for us to do a video on that and get that worked on. In the meantime, I thought that I would show you some stuff that we have worked on so you can get something to watch and I can get something up on the channel. So let's take a look at some of these wires. You can see here on the front, we've got these Two components connected to the fuse box in the engine bay. You got the wires sitting up here so that when we get ready to start running them, we'll be able to have those ready to go. And I'm a very organized type of person, so I plan on making the running of the wires as clean as possible, make everything look like it's just kind of nice and pristine looking, nothing like a rat's nest or anything like that. Um, I'm obviously not a professional at any of this, but I'm gonna do the best that I can myself. So I hope this engine bay is gonna be real clean after all these wires and everything's so ran. Now if we move here to the inside of the car, you'll see everything up here under the dash. We went ahead and ran those that direction because those wires are either going to be going to the instrument cluster in the dash, the instrument cluster in the console, or just running along that side of the car. So we wanted to go ahead and get those wires moving in that direction. So then once we start putting things together, they're already kind of going where they need to go. We've got the dimmer switch hooked up back there. We've got this set of wires that runs down here. Going towards the back. And obviously the wires are not going to run out over the hole where the rear window is going to go, but we just wanted to kind of get the wires going in the right direction so we kind of know which wires are going to be running along the same lines. So when we wrap them up, we have the wires nice and uh, clean looking and there's not a bunch of wires just running all over the place. So that's those wires right now. Not a whole lot is hooked up, but we're starting to run things, starting to figure out where they're going. And then we're going to start wrapping those up so that when they get put in their little positions, like you see right here, the wires will actually run along here under these little clips. So we're gonna make sure that the wires are wrapped. And even though it's gonna be under the carpet and things like that, I just feel a lot better having a clean look better than just wires, single wires running everywhere. So if we look back here, you can see the parking brake cable and the wire is connected. It's kind of hard to see on the other side of the fuse box, but it's connected right there. So what you've got right now, the parking brake is released. So you can see this back here is pushed away from the metal bracket up here. When you push the brake pedal, it brings those pieces together. So not only does it pull the brake line to activate the parking brake, but it creates a circuit when these two metal pieces connect and that will light up the emergency brake light. Also lovingly referred to as the idiot light because if you're driving a stick shift and you don't check the parking brake, well, you're kind of an idiot. 
So that that's what gets that light to turn on in the car. And then when we pull the handle, saw the pedal release and that disconnected the circuit down there so the light would go off. And now we're ready to drive the car if it was finished. And we got one more thing over here and that's the filler plate. And for people that don't really know what a filler plate is, it's a piece on the Nova that goes between the front bumper and the front grill. I'm gonna put a little image up on the screen pointing to where the filler plate is on a Nova. From the factory, filler plates are either a gray or silver color. And I've never really been a fan of that particular look. I think that they look better when they're painted to match the car, even though it's not factory, but this isn't a numbers matching car. It's definitely not gonna be factory. so. Wanted to do it the way that I enjoy doing it. So what we decided to do was paint it to match the car. So we've got the Le Mans blue filler plate right here. And that's gonna go up on the front. And if you look at the picture that I put on the screen, you'll see where that blue is actually gonna kind of peek through between the grill and the bumper. So I think it's gonna look really good. Unfortunately, that's all that I've got for you in this video. The budget situation and coronavirus has kind of put us behind on the project a little bit. I'm hoping to get that kit that we ordered that I mentioned earlier uh, next week, hopefully the end of the week or maybe early the week after. So if you're interested in finding out what that kit is that we're going to be putting in the car, make sure you subscribe so you're notified when videos get posted. For now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, put a comment down. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see y'all in the next one.